Hi and welcome in this new video. Not a dinner table talk, but a review video. And I'm gonna show you what is in this envelope. I have to say, it is already open. I did it because cutting on, uh, open an envelope on video isn't the easiest thing to do without shaking the camera. And also, um, yeah, I am like to be a little bit prepared. For the rest, I have no idea what products are in here. I, of course, I know a little bit because I know who sent them to me and I know what their core business is at this moment. So I know their products, but I don't know what they shipped to me. And uh, I didn't look into the envelope more than this because I want to be my reaction genuine to you guys watching. So, um, yeah, what do we have here? It is an envelope from the United States. It is from Brick Mini. And uh, I spotted them on Instagram. Uh, they make micro figures for, um, yeah, for instance, uh, the Battle and Bricks series from Omaha Bricks or Michael Brick Battle from Brick Mania. And um, when I saw them first, I wasn't that excited. I thought the idea was pretty good, but what I saw in the pictures didn't make my heart go wild because of, uh, I thought a big, um, I thought I saw a big uh, color difference in uh, between the figures they date and the Lego bricks. Uh, that uh, I use for my micro tanks. So I wasn't all that excited. And um, yeah, some guy from, let's say Minnesota, uh, who is also doing a little bit with <laughs> military Lego vehicles, uh, told me that it actually is a good product. So I looked better to it and yeah, you know what I thought, Let's ask if they wanted me to do a review. And so they sent some stuff to me to do a review video. So I'm very, very curious what it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, the stuff in this envelope is sent to me for free so I could review it. But as uh, most of you know, I'm Dutch and we Dutch people aren't uh, the best known of being uh, uh, yeah, careful with our words. We just say everything up just like they like we think, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, it's nice for them to ship this to me for review, but if I don't like it, I'm going to say it. So I hope you are excited as me to see what this brings, and let's open up this envelope. There's a lot of bags inside. Let's take them out. There's a lot of bags inside. There's more. That's all. Yes. All right. Oh my. These are a lot. Ooh. I have. I, I stopped looking through the camera and look at the product uh, directly because I don't. Oh wow, if I, I hope you guys are seeing this as well as I see this. As, let's open up. I see a lot of colors, I got a lot of colors. Cool, but I'm going for this green one for now because I think if I look carefully at this really tiny figure, look at this pose. And this one, yes, what I'm suspecting is true. Yeah, 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 and this one. These are the exact same poses that the little plastic soldiers that I used to play when I was a kid, they, they were like this big. I always had a bag full of plastic soldiers with tan soldiers and green soldiers. And they, you, uh, you might know them from um, uh, uh, um, uh, the Toy Story, like the Toy Story movie. There are green soldiers, oh yeah, look at this. It's the exact same mold it looks, but yet, if I look careful, the, they are a little bit um, blockier, more, not the rounded edges, but they're more like a Lego fig in the day. 
indeed. And yet the heads of them, if you look at the head, it is the shape of a, let's see if the camera can pick this up. It's the shape of a Lego fig. That's so funny. The hands, can I see the hands? They look a bit like Lego hands, so that's so funny. What's this? It's a tank hatch, I think. That's funny. Oh, and if that's open tank hatch, then this is a closed tank hatch. Let's see if I can focus both on them. Can you see them, right? Let's look at the camera, yeah. That's funny, right? Closed and an open tank hatch. And this one is a, oh, it's a tank, tank commander. Very, very funny. Oh, it's a bit challenging for my camera to really get these guys really close. Oh, this is so funny. And um, okay, this is the green. Oh, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's stay with the green for a moment. The one thing I didn't like about them is that they were all so, the pictures that I saw, they were so terribly shiny. I have to say, they are still shiny, but not as shiny as I suspected them to be. And I'm not sure if you can see the, the color here at the, the barrel isn't, it's a little bit trans, more transparent than a Lego brick, but the color doesn't seem too much off from normal green. I don't have any green on hand at this moment, so let's see if I can. Oh, look. <laughs> chess pieces. Funny. I'm not going to use them, I think, but funny. Maybe I can make myself a little chess board to go. Let's see, I have dark bluish gray. Oh, we've got 10. That's useful. I have dark bluish gray. Dark green. This looks awfully dark. I'm not sure if this color will match up. We'll check. It looks like dark red. I thought it was reddish brown, but it's more dark red. Here's reddish brown to compare the dark red. So now you're sure this is dark red. Maybe the camera shows the dark blue, dark tan. These are all the same. Olive green. That looks pretty much the same color. Oh. Bluish gray, looks pretty much the same too. Hmm, these are all the same colors. Hmm, let me check. I have some micro tanks next to me. So let's, this is my uh, version of a dust camo for the, um, uh, the, the Brick Mania Panzer IV. Let's see how it looks with, let's say a tan. So I can compare the color. actually compare the color as you can see the this part from brick mini is a little bit more shiny than the Lego part but the color is in my opinion nearly the same it, it, can, it can be a bit off but as far as I can see now, it looks it looks actually the same. But this is a very <laughs> a closed hatch. is a very funny product. Let's see how it looks. This is a really fun part. This is very funny. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, I like this. Yes, I do. 
There. Okay, let's see the yeah, opening hatch. Hey, this doesn't this doesn't attach. Oh wait, maybe if I use the little tank driver in it. Yeah, now it attaches. Good. Oh look, this is fun. This looks really funny. Yeah. Oh man, this is, this makes the tank look really good. Don't you think? I really think this looks good. I'm still a little bit ah, the negative. If I I have to say something negative negative about it. Sorry, the shininess on this part is, is really like Lego shines too. Oh, it's a bit dirty there, but you can see the Lego does shine, but not as much as the as these custom parts. Okay, the shining thing the part of being shiny i don't like but the idea and the the mole how it looks it looks very clean i have to say like here is let's pick up some let's see if we got some mold points let's see where has this guy been in the mold besides my camera now uh hmm. I think they did a good job because I can't find no like oh it might be here on the other side. Oh that's good. That's a good smart way to go over. Okay, let's see. Um this one is also let's get some dark blue gray for color comparison. So let's see if I can get a good camera. Again the shininess is so big. Okay, uh, I, I will quit whining about the shininess, but it's something I just don't like. It looks like the color is a little bit different. And I think it has much to do with the gun barrel being so small that it actually is a little bit transparent more than a Lego brick there. But and the shininess, of course, is taking away a little bit of color but it nearly looks the same hmm. good good dark tan i can also show dark tan let's do that too let's go with the dark tan oh sorry for pumping the camera let's see very very close very nice yeah a little bit like the, the really thin edges from the helmet and the gun but the plastic is so small it's a little bit more transparent than the lego parts but i think it has a lot to do with the plastic being so thin at that point so all right it's look really that looks really cool um one thing i do notice i have some um, british uh, us Tanks here too, but I do notice do I have a tank driver here. Yeah. Is that um, let's put a tank driver on that one? Uh, I thought I already noticed on their website, which I will uh, mention down below in the uh, description. But something that I did notice is that all soldiers are like the same. It doesn't matter which color you have. Um, but by the way, this looks really cool. Man, this looks cool. This is such a genius idea. I really think I like the idea. I, I wish the, the quality of the plastic was exact same as, as the Legos, because I have some doubts if that is the case. I think it's a, a different type of plastic, but um, the idea and how they look is really quite, quite uh, I mean about size is, is really really good but what I noticed is that it doesn't matter if you have like uh, the tan or the green their helmets are all 
like US helmet. So I have and the website only shows they have only US soldiers. So that's yeah, let's be honest, it's it, the, if I will play micro big metal with this um, uh, fix, I don't have good rules for uh, playing with uh, uh, um, soldiers yet. But if I play against, like, say, the Germans win 10 and the, uh, um, the Americans in Dark Blue's Grey, it will be obvious which which uh, fig belongs to which uh, side of the uh, of the game, uh, which faction. Um, but it would be nice if they had some uh, German like stall helms on uh, on a fig like this. Like you have some stall helm uh, uh, figure, so you have actually have like German figures and uh, U.S. figures. But also, I would like to see some uh, British helmets and some uh, Soviet helmets. So you really got some different factions going on. It would work in a game, like I said, with the different colors, that's no problem. If you have uh, playing uh, dark green against dark tan or olive green against dark blue, it would work. You, but clearly in a game, notice the difference. But for instance, if I would build a mock with my micro stuff, I would really like to be uh, the soldiers, uh, clearly um, a different factions. But overall, let's recap. I really like this product. I said it awful lot. I think <laughs> that I don't like the shininess of the the fix. Um, uh, for the lighter colors, it doesn't show the thinness of the plastic here. But if you go for the darker colors, I clearly see and like the dark blue is gray and dark tan doesn't have the olive green. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit dark bluish. A little, a little bit, but the dark blue is gray. That, that, that really, if you see the guns, it's the sm very, very the plastic is so thin. It's clear. The, the the guns are a little bit clearer than the plastic, but I don't think they can do better than this. So let's not whine about that. Um, for me, as a Battle in Bricks slash Micro Big Battle build uh, fan. I really like this. The uh, open and closed hatches. I really like that. That's a really nice addition for your tanks, man. Come on, let's be honest. This is this is so smart. Like, look, this looks amazing. Um, what I did notice on their website is that they only sell uh, like a package like this, like you, you buy a, pack, a, a set like this. And I would suggest that they sell also like a set of only one type of figure. Like I would love to have maybe a hundred of these and just one of these. And um, because I have a lot of micro tanks, I really like a lot of these two. And so I, I, re I, I would prefer being able to buy like a set of, for instance, 10 or 20 of one kind of thing. So maybe it would be good, like this, uh, the sets they sold, uh, they, they, they shipped to me would be uh, something like a starter set and uh, you can expand with, uh, let's say a set with 20 or 25 of these only. So you can, or like this one, it would be useful to have, uh, if you want to have a big army, you have 25 of these, but it wouldn't be useful if you have a big army to have 25 of these guys. And if you are a big, uh, micro big battle fan like me or a big battle in bricks, you would love to have a lot of these, but you don't want to buy, like I have, I think 10 or 20 uh, Shermans and I don't want to buy 20 complete package to only have 20 of these so i highly recommend uh, bricks mini brick mini to um uh yeah to to invest in making some 
kits where you just buy one kind of uh, figure. So my end um, conclusion for this product is, let's give it a number, like one out of 10. I think, I really, I'm, I'm really honest about this. I'm not gonna, um, uh, like I said in the start, I'm, I'm gonna be full out honest about these products. I think I'm giving the idea big ass 10. It's gonna be, uh, uh, that's gonna be 10. 10 out of 10 because the idea is amazing i really and especially i'm a big fan of these uh, turret uh, tops um uh, hatches sorry hatches and the tank driver i, I really like that um, i also am uh, it got some sentiment huge sentiment about being uh the almost the same poses not the mold the same poses as the plastic soldiers i used to play with when i was a kid so the idea 10 out of 10 quality wise um the the um the shininess that takes it down a little the um the finishing so i'm um, what i mean with that is like it's really detailed um the details are showing for such a small figure very good and there's no overlap so there's that's pretty cool I hardly here I see uh, one little uh, notch from the sprue, but uh, then again, there are almost not visible. So the quality, I think I am giving it, um, let's say a seven or an eight, because I, I really, I'm really bothered about the shininess. Uh, I, I really don't like that. So I give it a seven, 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 yes, yes. That's it. Um, playability, let's. Let's. I think it's awesome. I really think it would be fun in a game of micro bat battle, micro brick battle, battle in bricks, um, to use figures. I really hope that someone in the community or Brickmania themselves come up with infantry. Infantry. That was the word I was looking for before. Uh, infantry rules because I think with these figs, along with them, this is a really good idea to have infantry rules. So I think playability is, is, is uh, value is high. So let's say nine. And for if you build Max, um, I will give it a nine too. I would give it a 10 if there were more, um, uh, um, like what I said about the helmets, if there were more uh, source, uh, swords available, like uh, these are all US troops. I would like to see uh, German, British, and I would give it a 10 because I think maybe, hey, who says it, they aren't planning that already. And But for now, th this is the only thing that's available. And um, um, yeah, let, um, shall we say that overall score is like eight and a half, nine, eight and a half, nine. I think that's, that's fair enough because I really think it's a good product. I don't see much use for these for myself but i won't throw them away because i like them uh I, i'm not going to build them into a mock but i will probably use them uh, for when i play with my kid uh, a game of chess i will make a little chess board out of lego um yeah uh, i really like them i really like them and yeah, that's my overall uh, end conclusion i like them and now that i have so many of them lying around I'm thinking out loud. Why not? Um, why not do give them away one one set? I will give away one set of them. I really want uh, a lot of them to uh, to do more pictures and uh, uh, things on Instagram with them. Uh, so I'm not giving away them all because I want to show them uh, more. But uh, let's give away. Which colors shall I give? You know what? Um, if you want to make uh, make a chance to win one of uh, these sets, I'm giving away one complete set uh, to anyone who uh, likes this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment which color, what you think about the, the product, and which color you would like to win. And um, I will search for the best comment and the best. Um, um, yeah, I will, I will just 
pick one winner and I will announce the winner in, let's say, in the next uh, Dinner Table Talk video. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, but when it happens, I will announce a winner and uh, I will ship it to you. Yes, I don't matter where you live, I will ship it to you. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you uh, like this video and I really, really are interested in what you think about uh, this product. So leave your uh, opinion. And if you do, leave uh, uh, also the color you like the most so you may make a chance to win that set and that color. And of course, leave a like and leave a subs uh, subscribe to my channel um, if you want to see more videos. For now, uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.